As a policymaker, I'm watching states like Michigan go from uh, a, you know an incredible level of incarceration uh, reform and closing institutions. I watch in Congress. Uh, at the State of the Union a couple of weeks ago, the president again talked about the First Step Act. During the first quarter of the Super Bowl, Donald Trump's campaign commercial was about criminal justice reform. Uh, Again, going in the opposite direction of what Representative San Filippo is advocating for. And what we see as those states are, are continuing to expand the programs and laws on reform is we're, we're not seeing the sky fall. We're not seeing crime rates spike. We're seeing in places where they take the savings and reinvestment in programs like TAD or, or rehabilitative programs, we're actually seeing crime go down. We're hearing from law enforcement right, that they're arresting the same people over and over and over again. One of the stats I like to always refer to is something Chief Flynn had told us, that in a 10-year period, they arrested the same 109 individuals 945 times for 2,600 crimes. So if we're only going to look at the cost of our criminal justice system as what is the cost to incarcerate a person, well, what is the cost for our local police departments to keep doing this over and over again? And again, I just want to go back to, I don't see that it is a, uh, in, in contradiction for what we're trying to do versus what President Trump is trying to do, right? Because we are all saying that a person um, who, you know, there are people who shouldn't be in jail, right? If they have addiction problems or, or non-serious crimes, mm -hmm. give them a second chance, create those rehabilitative pr programs. But the problem comes in is that our criminal justice system in their zeal to reduce prison population and reduce jail population is treating everybody the same.